Welcome to the 2016 NCAC Swimming and Diving Championships from the Trumbull Aquatic Center on the campus of Denison University here in Granville, Ohio. I am Russell Kramer from the NCAC office and I will be with you all week as we cover the 32nd North Coast Swimming and Diving Championship. Day one got underway with the men's three meter board. Let's take a look at the results. For the sixth consecutive year, Denison took home the men's three meter championship as junior Max Levy earned the, his NCAC title with an overall score of 563.40. Levy was joined by teammates Brian Allen and Ben Lewis as the Big Reds swept the top three spots. Allen finished in second with a score of 519.75, while Lewis took home third, totaling 506.35. After the competition, I had a chance to catch up with the first time NCAC champion Max Levy and I opened up by asking him his overall assessment of the night and where his confidence level was at. Well, during prelims, it was a little bit on and off, just mostly because of uh, I was trying to get into the zone, and then I kept getting distracted a little bit here and there, and then um, and that kind of showed on my gainer on my 305C, and then um, but as a after prelims and after voluntaries. Uh, I felt really well. I felt really good going into finals, um, especially after doing some lead-ups on one meter for finals and then just going into finals. I just knew I had to buckle down and not let, any, not let anything distract me. For you, three dives in the 60s in the finals, you talk about sort of that prelim round. With 17 divers, is it difficult to get into rhythms? Or how do you stay focused with all that time in between dives? I would imagine as you spoke through, uh, spoke about it, it's a little bit of a struggle. So what do you do in between to kind of keep your focus and, and try and be prepared for the next dive? Well, I have really loud music playing. Um, I have one song that plays over and over again. And I just keep listening to that and I sort of tune it out so that once I stop hearing that, I just hear white noise, and then I can block out the other things around me, uh, like the other divers, um, and sort of just focus on myself and just focus on the dives at hand. Um, other than that, I just sort of try to get in my own world and just sort of not look at the three meter and or the board that we're on and just sort of be there, be present in the moment. For you, uh, obviously a lot of success. Big Red men's diving team up there representing going one, two, three. Brian Allen, Ben Lewis, your teammates right up there uh, with you. But what does that say uh, in, in terms of this team's work ethic throughout the course of the year? How important was tonight getting off to the start in the which they did? And, and some really good dives by both of them. Ben with the 65, the highest uh, between the three of you. Uh, how proud are you of the, the team effort this evening? I'm very proud of them. I uh, really, I'm really happy that they that we went one, two, three. Um, it's just as good as how we did last year. I believe it was one through five, I believe. And um, I'm just really excited that we got off to a great start because that shows a lot of momentum moving forward, especially for uh, the swimmers. If we got off to a great start, now they can now they start tomorrow. Um, and then also for the women's team showing, uh, for the women divers showing them that you they've they've worked hard just like we have, and they're gonna do just as well. Sixth straight year now that the Denison men's uh, team has taken home the championship on the three meter. A day off until you head into the one meter uh, on Friday night. Sort of take me through the next 24 hours heading into the one meter. How do you sort of refocus, enjoy this evening uh, success, but also try and mentally get prepared heading into the one meter? Well, I'll probably go to bed early tonight and then uh, we have morning practice. So I'll be down here again, um, I believe at around nine. Then go back, come back, go back to my room, come back here at around three and then uh, watch the women's finals and prelims, and then sort of just relax, take a day off mentally from competing, and just refocus myself by watching uh, videos of diving, uh, mostly for one meter, and then um, just sort of like calming myself and sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, sort of just making my mind blank as we go into one meter. Now let's take a look at the overall men's team scores after the first day of competition. Again, it's the Big Red of Denison atop the standings with 96 points. Kenyon stands in second with 68 points. It's the Little Giants of Wabash with 57 points in third. Wittenberg holds fourth with 51 total points. Worcester sits in fifth with 42 points. Oberlin is in sixth with 36 points. And DePaul scored 26 points in the opening event of the championship for seventh. 
Allegheny, Hiram, and Ohio Wesleyan are all tied in eighth, looking for their first point when day two gets underway. We hope you have enjoyed our coverage from day one of the 2016 NCAC Swimming and Diving Championships. Be sure to log on to our website, www.northcoast.org, for all the latest news and information regarding the championship. Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at NCAC. Tomorrow, day two gets underway with prelims, set to start at 10 a.m. And the women's one-meter diving prelims will begin at 1 p.m. And then we will return in the evening at 6.30 for all the finals from day two. Again, I am Russell Kramer of the NCAC office. Be sure to stick with us through the entire weekend as we bring you exclusive video coverage of the North Coast Swimming and Diving Championships from the Trumbull Aquatic Center. Thanks for joining us, and have a great day.